Hey there, everybody. This is Galera, and welcome to set uh, two of the Pro League series um, between uh, Air Force Ace and Samson Khan. This is the Man Toss. That is right. We are doing a dual commentary, Clazard and I. Clazard, a legend of commentating, doing a commentary of a legend. Uh, and I will be also joining, of course, doing um, my commentary of uh, the Man Toss, who uh, is back from... Um, Back from catching nuclear weapons that were about to fall in Hawaii over the July 4th weekend, for all of those of you who are living on the islands or ever visited them or want to visit them, you will not be, you know, dealing with fallout thanks to Reach, who's been busy intercepting them uh, in the Air Force, um, where he intercepts nukes from North Korea. Uh, Reach here is going to be facing off against Miracle. Miracle, a Terran from Samson Khan, who actually managed to beat someone pretty decent on... Uh, he beat, uh, I believe it was Luxury. Yeah, Luxury. Um... The last time uh, he played anybody that I saw, Luxury and KTF, but Luxury has been uh, recently sniffing glue in the basement of the KTF house, um, and he has a problem with that, so, uh, you know, that explains that. And hopefully Reach uh, will be able to show victory here. To be absolutely honest, Reach, uh, in the interest of full disclosure, has been on a bit of a losing streak, a four or five game losing streak, um, and we'll see if he recovers from that uh, against a Terran player here on Heartbreak Ridge. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be distracting. He's got to keep his eye on the North Koreans. He's got to keep his eye on the Chinese for a little further to That's the north. Right. And uh, looks like Reach is starting up a pylon just north of his choke. Yeah, and, and you know, he's, he's got he's got a lot. He's got, yeah, exactly. And at the same time, he's got he's got these um, gazillions of girl fans, obviously, who are who are out after him, uh, trying to get him to be their boyfriend. So uh, he's got you know, and he's got he's got to weigh the, the options and make decisions I'm and all the rest fun. of it. So obviously, Starcraft takes. <laughs> takes takes a slight backseat to to all of that. Is that Darth Vader in the crowd? But um, I have no idea. I guess I, I I guess mentioning Darth Vader, Reach is probably the Vader of StarCraft, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, he is as relentless oh, really? uh, and as destructive. Yeah, I believe Reach is pretty much is is as destructive as Darth Vader. Uh, and I and I and I think that Reach probably finds our lack of faith disturbing right now. So uh, uh, ye of little faith, repent. Uh, lest he lest he be smited by the mantos uh, and miracle is is um, it might be feeling might end up feeling reaches wrath here but let's hope for a good game of starcraft anyway um, looks like miracle just starting up his racks and his refinery uh, reach having put that pollen down uh, neither player is sending a scout out thus far from what I can tell and I really wish I could read Korean to see what those posters are saying it must be hilarious and reach now starting up his nexus so reach is fast expanded wow. he's put his nexus down straight In away the dark. that's slight risk by reach. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, without scouting his opponent, his opponent is going potentially for a build that could really counter him well here if Miracle scouts and decides to put some early pressure on. Yeah, uh, Miracle has, uh, looks like, just spotted it. He might actually kind of done a, a fake out there, pretend like he didn't see it, um, because he moved his SAB quite quickly away from that Nexus. Uh, looks like... Uh, oh, shit, actually, I'm sorry. I thought that was orange. That's actually Reach's probe. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to tell on the minimap here with the colors. So, uh, Miracle has not scouted this yet, and we'll see if um, Reach manages to delay him at all, or if he is going to scout it and adjust his build accordingly. There's many, uh, obviously, many counters to deal with this. Um, I would say, in terms of movie references, uh, one I could think of would be Rocky in the movie Rocky IV, specifically, um, where he fights uh, Ivan Drago from Russia for democracy for America he fights the evil Russian who killed his friend and Reach is basically Rocky in that movie uh, and his friend is NC Yellow who is Apollo Creed for some reason I just made that up but uh, we'll be seeing how Reach does he's a mix of Rambo and uh, Rocky and also uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger from Predator uh, that's also Reach uh, and every Chuck Norris movie that Chuck Norris has ever been in, he's Chuck Norris, uh, etc. Um, we're going to see, uh, looks like a factory build opening up here, and only one SCB on gas. So it looks like a fast expand in reaction to Reach's fast expand. I think that's going to put Reach a little bit ahead here. Actually, I've just realized who, who, who Reach really is. Reach is Mr. T. That is who Reach is. He brings the pain. Reach is Mr. T. <laughs> he also does that. He's an inspiration for all He brings of them, the pain. Actually. They he were all based the, on He brings him. the pain. Yeah, they're all they were all based on him. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I'm, I'm sure all those American writers who wrote those screenplays <laughs> watched yeah. Korean pro gaming about that's 20 right. years ago. Uh, pro, <laughs> pro Starcraft. So Miracle looks like he's just taking that mineral patch out um, behind Reach's main, uh, up north of it, so he can try and circle around, put pressure on Reach's uh, sorry behind Reach's National Expo. Uh, looks like Miracle. Miracle must have seen what Reach is up to right now, and, and he should be getting ready to put some pressure on. He's got about four Marines out. Reach is scattered up with that um, 
probe. But the more time Miracle t takes, the more time Reach is going to have to adapt and get ready. He's already got a couple of goons out, uh, and you know we're going to probably see some sort of a timing attack from Miracle here, and it's going to be it's going to come down to kind of a one fight for him because if he doesn't win that one fight, he's not going to have the economy to recover from it. Uh, whereas the longer this goes on, the longer Reach gets a chance for his economy to kick in. He's now researching. He's got one siege tank and, and about four Marines out. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, because Reach already has a couple of Dragoons and a Zealot out as well, and he should be able to defend against this quite comfortably. Is it me, or should that push be coming a little bit faster from Miracle? Uh, well, actually, I mean, I, I actually don't think he's necessarily even going to push. Um, I think this is just a pretty sta a standard FD expand build. Um, he's going to do a little push, but this is certainly, I don't think it's intended to actually kill Reach. Uh, it doesn't really have much of a chance to kill any Protoss. But um, no, I, I think this is actually just about the right timing. He is going to move out once the mines kick in. But Reach is very well prepared for an FD build. It's not a two-fact, in which case uh, the timing would would be very different, I think. Um, yeah, but uh, we'll, we'll see what Reach can do here. It looks like uh, Miracle is going to be putting mines around the map. Always a good move. Um, you know, and, and I think Miracles, you know, obviously the turn when they fast expand, even if they uh, do it this way, it, it doesn't put them that far behind uh, any kind of fast expand from another player. Um, but, on the other hand, Protoss Fast Expand, the uh, 12 Nexus, is a very strong early build. So, I would say Reach economically is uh, definitely a few notches ahead. Um, looks like a Scouting Probe gets killed off. Uh, the Natural Expansion about done now for Miracle. Miracle putting down a second factory instead of a early... Uh, engineering bay and actually he is going to be going for uh, a sort of a mid-game timing attack or mid-game um, harassment with a starport which means uh, some dropped uh, vultures most likely yeah I, I've always been of the opinion yeah I've always been of the opinion that if a, if a player goes for an all-out expansion build like you know a 14 CC or a 12 Nexus and the opponent doesn't then the, then the Onus is on the opponent to make sure they neutralize that economic advantage fairly oh, early yeah. on, because once you allow it to kick in, you know you're going to win the game. So I, I I do feel that unless Miracle, it's it's basically the balls in Miracle's court. He's got to hit the smash. He's got to hit the, the the forehand cross court to beat Reach here. Uh, otherwise, Reach will pull ahead, and and that starport might just be the thing he needs. He's not interested enough. He's not put a control tower down. I guess he's just going to put produce a rate just in case. I mean, I'm I just want to verify with you, Cholera. I mean, did Miracle definitely yes. scout Reach's build? Did he get an SCV in there past those dragoons? I think he did, so he should he did. know he that uh, that oh, Reach expanded. Yeah. So I'm I'm surprised that he's worried about uh, I'm surprised he's worried about shuttles and reavers right now, uh, because that would be the only reason I th I would think he was producing. Unless he was using the rate to spot if he's going to use the uh, if he's going to um, go for siege mode and, and yeah. try and put some pressure on Reach that way. I don't think he's building. Uh, rate, otherwise, actually. I'm not sure why he would be. Yeah. Okay. Well, he, he had the starport actually. down. He didn't have watching. any control towers down. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think he just okay, he put it not. down okay. now. So yeah, just a bit late. That's all. Okay. But, fair enough. All right, he's just a little bit late. That's fair enough. But yeah, so he's just putting a little bit of pressure at uh, Reach's Ooh, one o'clock position now, where Reach is trying to take that expansion down, and Reach is uh, is going to be struggling to defend. He's got a couple of dragoons there. He's bringing some more around the rear. He's got a zealot as well. Uh, good control by Reach to take those spider mines down. But meanwhile, those two dragoons are trapped, and they're going to get taken out. That nexus uh, Reach might be forced to cancel it. He's waiting for the observer to come down. He doesn't want to rush into those forces because there are spider mines in the way, and those spider mines are going to give. And the nexus gets taken out. I believe Reach cancelled it at the very, very yeah. last second. Uh, but that's certainly going to hurt him because uh, he was forced to cancel that Nexus and uh, Miracle definitely putting some pressure on Reach there, forcing him to cancel that starport with the control tower not complete, presumably dropship coming out uh, and Reach needs to try and make Miracle pay a little bit here if he can. Oh, Meanwhile Miracle circling on the couple of vultures trying to sneak into Reach's natural expo. He oh, manages to no. sneak those vultures through, he's going to get into Reach's main with them and he's going to be doing a little bit more harassment while a massive battle takes place just at the one o'clock expo uh, where Reach does have Miracle trapped and Miracle might lose mo the majority of his forces here. Miracle is going to use yeah. the majority of his forces to Reach sacrifice the Dragoons to the spider mines. Miracle Retreating, Reach has taken out all the spider mines. He's taken out most of the vultures in the north. Uh, Reach with the one dragoon taking out those spider, uh, those vultures remaining. But those three sea shanks are going to get taken out wow. as well. And I wonder, Ocolor, if that's a good trade for Miracle, losing his entire no. ground force uh, in exchange for taking that nexus down. I don't know what Miracle is doing, but it wasn't microing at either front. I feel in the last battle. I mean, you saw those vultures in the main base. Had he been a half decent Terran player, he would have killed a lot more probes there, I, I, I feel. And Reach is actually taking advantage of Miracle's temporary weakness on the ground to build a Stargate, which means uh, it's going to be a, a two-base Arbiter build, I believe, or possibly carriers. We're going to have to see. Uh, most likely Arbiters, though, because we saw the there's a Citadel there, so most likely Arbiters. But 
Um, looks like a drop is about to come from Miracle. Um, I do think that Miracle's uh, w w micro was surprisingly sloppy for a, a new Tyrant player. You know, you expect him to be able to um, uh, do a little bit better there because uh, he lost that army up north without doing as much damage as he could have. He also didn't do anything with those Vultures, man. You Two Vultures in the main base, that's like your golden opportunity to take out like 10 probes. And he got maybe two and they were just focusing fire on the Dragoon, which is obviously not what you should do. Um, but anyway, it looks like they're going to get a couple now. The, these dropped uh, Vultures in the back of Reach's base. Reach has made a decently quick pull, but they are going to affect the economy here. I think Reach is now expanding again at the uh, upper right. Um, this game is still very close, though, because uh, Miracle's economy is untouched, of course, and uh, Reach's has been rather severely harassed, although certainly I think he could have Miracle could have been doing even better, like he's doing right now, actually. He's actually doing a decent job. Yeah, I think he's killed about six probes in that attack. Uh, but yeah, I mean, generally you would expect that when you take an expansion down of your opponents this early on in the game, that you really make them pay. But Reach really uh, neutralized that by taking out Miracle's forces while taking very few losses yeah. on his own side. Miracle now once again with the dropship and the vulture going on. So yeah, both players trading blows. Miracle uh, managed to snipe a probe, uh, and he's using those vultures to good effect now. He's going waiting with them. He's using dropship. He's using the, the maneuverability advantage that he has over Reach right now, and now putting a bunch of spider mines, trying to catch those dragoons out uh, so that he can. In fact, the big oh. attack. He drops a couple of siege tanks in as well, and this time he's trying oh, to get a surround. And couple reaches so going down to spider mines, uh, and reach. Uh, but Reach is coming around from the rear, but Reach is actually Man losing a lot dudes. of Dragoons to this, but he still managed to avoid the Spider Mines, uh, and he manages to uh, come out on top, chasing the dropship away. The dropship oh, almost gets picked off, and uh, two. I think Reach lost something like three or four Dragoons, and he took out four or five Vultures, or six Vultures, and two siege tanks in that attack. Yeah. I mean, he did surprisingly well, I think. The, that was some good dancing backwards there when there was, uh, you know, I think it was more than six, maybe like seven or eight vultures there against four dragoons or five dragoons. It's one of the harder things to do uh, and still be able to get all your forces to deal with a drop to help it out. Um, f surprisingly, I don't think Miracle has siege mode yet, and uh, he's going to need a Miracle if he thinks he's going to win a long game without siege mode um, against a Protoss player. Uh, but <laughs> I haven't seen a siege yet, uh, so I guess he just wants to use them like dragoons or something. Oh, man! And, oh, he almost loses the dropship. Dropship goes down, and this drop is spotted by Reach. Um, Reach managing to avoid the mines for now. Doing a very good job of avoiding these mines. As you see, these two dragoons should be dead by now. If uh, if you know Reach was a, a bad Protoss player, but obviously Reach is not a bad Protoss player. Man, he is damn good with these Dragoons, uh, which which argues that he should go for gas once in a while. I know the manly thing to do is not to ever go for gas, but Reach has certainly used Dragoons very well in this game, and uh, he's going to once again pick off a uh, tank, although this time uh, he does lose one Dragoon. Um, he does have Arbiters about to come out, although I'm sure Miracle knows about it, um, but right now I'd say Reach is uh, in the lead, having, having neutralized uh, most of these harassments. Yeah, and the reasons th those dragoons are so amazing is because they're uh, they've been birthed from the spirits of dead manlots, dead manlots that have sacrificed exactly. themselves Mangoons. in heroic struggle. They their their spirits have been reincarnated in the form of these mangoons, and that's why they're completely ripping it up right now. Uh, but it looks like. Um, <laughs> Miracle has secured his natural expo. He's got a. Uh, he's. It looks like he's now uh, gearing up for a little bit of a defense. Reach has got arbiters out. Uh, he's got a decent number of dragoons out as well. Uh, and Miracle building uh, bases. He's he's now taking the expansion at the uh, seven o'clock position. But he's building buildings outside his natural expo. He's setting up a little bit of a blockade because I think he fears an onslaught coming. Uh, his time of harassment is over. You can see that the map control has completely flipped over towards Reach, and Reach is the player who now has a run on the map. Whereas before Miracle was raiding quite freely, and now he's very much on the defensive. Uh, once those arbiters have come out. Uh, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how long Miracle's defense hold against, uh, holds against Reach's attack. But Reach definitely with the advantage having neutralized most of Miracle's attacks. And you feel, even though he's taken a few hits to his probes from those Vulture Raids, um, he's killed so many units without losing nearly as many units in, in return that, that uh, if he's probably should definitely be considered to be ahead right now. Yeah, it looks like Miracle is... Uh you know, very influenced by uh, players uh, of the like of fantasy, definitely. Uh, you can tell he has a, a definite a dropship fetish. Um, and, you know, sometimes this is good. I mean, obviously dropships can work, but I think he's going a little too heavy on them. And perhaps uh, that, that might be one of the strong suits in his game, supposedly. Maybe that's why he's going for them so much. But right now, we're not seeing much success from him uh, otherwise in the game. And his drops also have not been very successful. As you see, a bunch of vultures dying needlessly here. Um, they're trying to coordinate with the tanks now that are being dropped at this 12 o'clock. Let's see if he can take it out. Not sure, though. Reach seems like uh, he needs to wait for an observer or maybe just a couple of manlots to run through the minefield. Um, now he has what he needs down there, but 
Is he going to have what he needs up here is the question. He's just going to go for it. Those Mangoons fear nothing, but they're getting killed in mass numbers there. Uh, that, that was a bit of a blunder. Um, and he, he might lose the Nexus here at the 12. So he is going to lose the Nexus. So that actually um, certainly helped a lot for Miracle's Cause. Stopped Reach from running away with the game. Although Reach now has expanded again to the upper left. Uh, but that was a, a decent attack. One of the few we've seen recently from Miracle. Reach right now, um, not with many, without many gateways actually. Actually, those only look like four, four gateways with maybe a fifth going up. Not sure if there was others not shown. But uh, Reach, of course, has gone for a lot of tech, which explains that partially. Um, and he's going to probably be going for a big recall here, maybe at that bottom base or possibly in the main. We'll have to see. Yeah, I think that was the second cost-effective harass attack that uh, Miracle committed. The first was obviously when his when he took on about six or eight probes with his second uh, Vulture drop in Reach's main. Yeah. Uh, but that time around, taking the Nexus down, and really uh, what he did was effectively uh, equalize the number of bases. And when you have a Terran and Protoss player with equal number of bases for any uh, period of time, that's advantage Terran, and you don't want to be in that situ situation. Obviously, Reach did put that expansion up at the top left, uh, but that expansion's yeah. only just gone up, and probes only just now transferred to it, Reach retaking the 12 o'clock expo. But I think that Miracle definitely bought himself a little bit more time in this game. Breach coming in with the um Arbiter looks like he is gonna recall and he recalls right into that expansion, um lifted straight up yeah. by Miracle. Uh, Dragoon's trying to take that command center down. He's probably going to be able to get it away, and it's just a question of whether how much damage Reach can do. He does have uh, siege tanks there to help defend it as well, but it looks like those units could potentially be trapped at that exp expo now that he's taking He's actually going through the back around. He's going to circle around. He's oh. going to put a little bit more pressure on Miracle from behind as well, and I, I actually like this feature of the map. It, it means that you can maneuver your force around, and it, force, and it allows players to be a little bit more adventurous in their attacking. So now Reach positioned above the natural expo mineral line of wow. Miracle is hammering away at those SCVs. Zealous running into the siege tanks. Science vessel pops out, but the Zealots close in on the siege tanks, uh, and those two siege tanks are going to get Ooh. taken down, but those Zealots charging in. Two siege tanks get taken down. Miracle, meanwhile, is, has resecured the expo floor. The command center back over, but he's losing a lot of SCVs, and he hasn't really microed them away. He's lost a lot of SCVs there, and that has been a yeah. very good recall attack by Reach, and he's prevented Miracle from mining anything from his natural, and Miracle still hasn't been able to resecure it. Uh, and he's really he's really all at sea here right now, and he's finally gotten a couple of Goliaths out uh, to, to force that Arbiter Force back, and uh, Reach is probably going to lose the rest of these units without doing too much more damage now. Well, you never know, because, uh, okay, yeah, he is going to lose. I see all those tanks at the 6, uh, at the 7. I thought he was going to run back and forth. But it looks like Miracle has secured it, but barely. And I think you're right, um, that was a very good, effective harassment. Oh, man, a bunch of SCVs just kind of getting damaged. They're not getting killed off, I would say, because uh, Dragoons don't do that much damage to ground units. Uh, Miracle snipes the Arbiter, finally. Um, but that's a really good area for Reach right now, that back corner, because it's actually very hard for Miracle to defend uh, when Reach has the high ground with a couple of Dragoons. Um, note that Reach has not gone for any storms yet. I think that's, uh, he, he probably should start looking into that, um, possibly soon, because he's just going for Gateway, uh, he's just going for Dragoons and Zealots. Here he comes, though, with another, uh, Tier 2 recall. He is going to go in with, um, a couple of tanks, uh, uh sorry, uh, with a couple of Zealots. Looks like this time not going to be that effective. Uh, there's plenty of tanks in the main, although actually he might get the armory, which is pretty good. Um, and he is properly focusing fire on it. So he's going to get it down and it's going to take down some, uh, yeah, there it goes. It's going to take down some uh, upgrades for him. Certainly a very useful thing. And uh, so, you know, I mean, it's a little back and forth like this, but I think Reach is mainly picking, uh, is coming out ahead because um, look, at, look at his number of bases. He's already at five bases. He's been on it for maybe a good two or three minutes now. Yeah, and he's he's ramping up his macro as well. He's getting a lot more gateways down. He's he's allowing that economy to tell. He has thrown away a couple of arbiters. He lost a couple of arbiters, so um, he's not really been able to build up a large arbiter count. But that's not that significant for a Protoss player. Uh, we haven't really seen any EMPs from the Terran player, though. He has had a science vessel out for a little while, and he hasn't. And he could have neutralized. He did have a science vessel in the region where Reach brought that arbiter in, and he could have potentially neutralized that recall. Uh, but he didn't do it. I think he did a decent job of defending it in the end. Now coming in, Reach with the arbiter, he might be able to recall right on top of these tanks. Uh, but he pulls back when. Vultures come in for support. Um, Reach has that large force sitting in the middle of the map waiting, waiting to be recalled, but it looks like Miracle is now uh, pushing out down towards the 6 o'clock expansion. I think he's getting ready to secure that. Uh, Miracle, apart from that initial early harass, hasn't is, it has mostly been on the defensive since Reach got Arbiters. I don't think we've seen any real effective, uh, aggressive 
play from Miracle since then. Reach once again coming in. Looks like this there might be a recall oh. going down here at the natural expo nice. of Miracles. Another oh, massive recall. He's got so up on the ridge as well. Those Dragoons are still there. The Science <laughs> Muscle gets taken down yeah. straight away, and that's gonna hurt Miracle. He's got a couple of siege tanks that are firing away, uh, but he's not he's not enjoying this at all right now. Uh, and that mineral line is coming under heavy fire as well. Uh, reach with Dragoons all through uh, Miracle's natural expo, and he's now re <laughs> reinforced those Dragoons that he had up behind the mineral line of uh, reach of mineral uh, miracles natural expo and miracle has really been prevented from mining from that base pretty much since reach got that first recall in uh, in, in at that 7 o'clock base and now reach has got high templar as well and that's really what we need we need to see a couple of big storms from reach uh, glad coming in to focus that Ar arbiter down uh, but reach does have a lot of goons there so he should be able to potentially defend it yeah I mean, right now, though, those couple of Dragoons were up there for a good 10 minutes, and they were still used in that last attack quite effectively. Uh, there's Reach bringing them now down towards the south again. Um, not sure what he's planning on doing. Oh, man, Miracle doesn't have detection yet. Jeez. Oh, Reach is going to use the man. It's almost getting a mind drag. He gets a mind drag. Uh, kills off two tanks there. I guess using these Dragoons. Oh, another tank goes down. Using these Dragoons. A massive effect on this. These Dragoons are going to blow up even more. No, they come so close to blowing up like all the Vultures do. Wow, that is what man goons do, by the way. They don't just shirk away from uh, mines because, oh, we only take two hits and die, unlike Zealots who take three. Three mine hits. No, Reach's Dragoons are, are not afraid of dying for the Kala, for the cause, uh, for Ayer, for Korea. And uh, as you can see, there they were certainly effective in mine dragging, whereas most people, uh, Dragoons, would just be running away in fear. Uh, looks like Reach going for an attack at the south. Um, I had noted that, uh, that there's a new expansion there, but it might not be up there for long. Um, Reach right now also with some high Templar support and a good stasis there, so this base could go down here. Good storm, I think. About to, uh, just yeah, just a decent storm right there. And uh, wow, Reach um, showing his first person view here. He's probably going to take it down. Yeah, that expansion, Command Center Force Blifter, I think you might be just about able to see the Command Center by repairing it. Uh, and and you can just see Reach has a lot of uh, resources because he's queuing up up there. Command Center is burning, those siege tanks are still frozen. A couple more siege tanks come in into siege mode. Uh, this is going to oh. come close between whether or not Reach is going to be able to take the Command Center. It does go down! He blasts the Command Center. The Command Center burns down uh, just as the last of the Mangoons die. They take the Command Center down <laughs> with it with their parting shots. Uh, and that Three was a bitter parting shot for Miracle. Yeah, and um, <laughs> Reach, uh, Reach has now got about 5,000 Stargates and he's just pumping, uh, sorry, 5,000 Gateways and he's just pumping units from them. Um, Miracle with a large Vulture Force that he's got now mobile around the map after Reach has lost that large ground force, but Miracle hasn't really done anything effective with it. Uh, he's still just using it to try and hold a defensive posture uh, and, and just hoping that Reach just runs out of attacks. Reach comes, looks like he's coming in for another massive recall, but there are oh. small mines all over that place. He gets a massive recall in. I'm not sure that's, a, a, he's going to take those siege tanks down straight away and those goons are fully alive. Oh. They're full, they're full health pretty much. And a Massive drag by Reach! A Zealot I think took wow. out about 8 Vultures there and the Natural Command Center going down for Miracle and uh, Miracle is experiencing the exact opposite of his name right now. Um, yeah. I'm going to leave Carl to define it, but uh, this, is this is exactly the opposite of what a Miracle is for Miracle uh, and he is he's really suffering. Reach is really making him pay with these recalls, but somehow Miracle is managing to just about stay alive and rebuild those expansions. Reach coming in with another attack at the 6 o'clock. Uh, D matrix on the f uh, lead siege tank, uh, but Reach manages to close Zelos into the second siege tank line. Uh, but Miracle has quite a deep line of defense there. I think he is actually going to be able to hold this defense. Reach with a bunch of Zelos still in there, but he's not able to close the distance. Uh, he does manage to force a lift of the command center. He does manage to get his dragoons into a decent position, but he only has four dragoons that he's going to be forced to pull back. So Miracle's concentrating his forces uh, defending that six o'clock expo, which is why he was so lean uh, at his natural expo. Obviously, he didn't expect Reach to get it. Miracle needs to do something here about these recalls. Reach has been recalling with pretty much impunity and arrogance. Uh, and and Miracle, I don't think he's he's stopped a single recall thus far in this game. He really needs to do something about that. Yeah, I mean Miracle, I, I think basically has just been too scared to play properly by Reach's uh, huge manliness in this game. Um, you know, basically he started off playing okay, but as he went on, he realized that I think defeat was inevitable, and he's just been so passive recently. Uh, you're right though, he hasn't EMP'd anything other than I, I saw we saw one EMP that was late that did hit the recalled units, but no, he didn't manage to stop the recall, which would have been nicer. Um, looks like <coughs> Reach right now moving in, just walking into the natural. Yeah, that is the natural expansion right there, and and basically. I think um, 
you know, this is a common thing that that faces that opponents who face reach have to deal with. It's the shrinking of their own testes as you realize uh, how manly reaches are, and just in in shame, they basically just say, "All right." Uh, I will just lose this game now and uh, and go home and and see if I can still grow facial hair. And Miracle might be having problems with that afterwards. Um, you know, right now Reach. I, I think also Miracle's style is definitely the type that <coughs> Reach is most successful against. In a, on a serious note, because he played very passively, very defensively. He didn't go for a lot of multitasking this game. Um, and his multitasking was actually quite poor. Finally, some EMPs coming from Miracle, but it's way too late at this point. I feel. Uh, I think Reach is very good at dealing with that kind of style as opposed to kind of like uh, an actual like Lita kind of style or um, a Flash kind of style which is uh, so multifaceted and multi-attacks that you know Reach obviously being uh, one of the older and slower players isn't so good against but a, a Turtling Terran Miracle uh, was uh, you know a Turtling Terran I think Reach can beat any day like uh, like he's beating Miracle right now yeah, well, let's not forget that Reach had had a 14, uh, had a 12 Nexus to start with, uh, and we did see some harassment early on from Miracle at Reach's. And once Reach countered that, that's when really Miracle decided to set back, feel, feel feel that he didn't have enough to take Reach head on because he really wasn't able to neutralize that economic advantage. And I think it just comes down to the fact that Miracle's mechanics weren't good enough really to micro in those fights, and he lost those fights quite poorly uh, and, and, and took a lot of casualties. Which ha had he not taken them, he would have still had a decent sized ground force uh, to be able to resist Reach in the mid game and really from that point on Reach has taken control and kept the pressure up so I think I would give a lot of credit to Reach uh, for keeping the pressure up but I think I would oh, also uh, have to admit that there was a decent storm he only got the one C shank with it though I think Miracle staggered those C shanks much better now um, because he anticipates Reach moving around the way he is right now but Reach is going to be almost close into that last layer of C shanks right <laughs> uh, but Reach does uh, Reach with just a smaller force. I think he's just trying to get that Arbiter in somewhere to try and get a recall in because he does have a, uh, have a large ground force, which looks like the middle of the map, right at the center of the spire of the sp of the sphere, um, right at the radius, uh, the center of the radius. I'm just talking nonsense now, but yeah, he does have a decent sized force there, and uh, I think he was just looking for an opportunity for a recall, which didn't come by. Uh, Miracle still somehow managing to hold on to those. Ex those expansions, uh, but um, Reach has had his expansions running for a lot longer, uh, so really, he it's just a question of when Reach can close this game down, I feel. I oh. really feel that Miracle and Reach with another big this recall, this time at the 7 o'clock, and uh, this this will probably be pretty much the game-ending maneuver, maneuver here by Reach, and I, I really feel that from the mid-game point on, once Reach got Arbiters, Miracle hasn't really been in the game since then. Yeah, I mean, I think Miracle's, uh, you know, there's definitely reasons why he shut down his harassment, but I, I do feel like he significantly changed his game style and, and to his detriment, too, basically. He wasn't aggressive anymore after his first couple of drops fail. He basically just started sitting back and saying, well, maybe I'll, I'll expand Reach. Wrong! Reach can expand on other maps when he plays StarCraft. That's right. He actually has three bases on uh, Destination right now. You guys just can't see them. He's expanding on Destination, and he's already got, like, one on Blue Storm since, like, the 10th minute. Um, anyway, Reach has stasis and attacked on every single side. Oh, my God, this is a mess. GG coming from Miracle, and I'm sure the fangirls are going wild right now. Uh, there will be plenty of action at the Air Force Ace house tonight for Reach, as there always is. And he's probably going to throw some off to Yellow, who's probably going to throw some off to Zellos, who's probably going to end up throwing them off to someone like Mew Myung, who's going to get some tonight. There'll be so many left over that even Myung Myung might get some. Good for him. GG. Um, <laughs> it was actually some pretty Sorry. pretty cool Protoss Starcraft to be to be witness Casey there. Casey might but get I think, some. Freaking Casey. Right, but I think, I think... I think... I do think that um, the Terran was quite lackluster from the mid-game point. And you're right, he did play very defensively. Did not put any pressure on his opponent, and you need to. You need to put pressure on. You need to multitask. You need to harass. I mean, it's all very well good trying to play defensively and get those expansions up, but he did have, have that starport control tower. He did have that dropship, and um, I guess he tried, but um, it just wasn't as effective. And, and I mean, if he was going to go for the defense, he really had to make sure that Reach didn't get those recalls in, and he wasn't able to nullify those recalls. I mean, if you're going to turtle, you better be sure. I mean, it's like it's like turtling yeah. and having a hole in the shell. You know, if a turtle has a hole in the shell it's not going to be very effective and very resistant to um, something that's trying to eat it. Uh, and, and, and unfortunately, Miracle just got eaten alive. <laughs> that's pretty, that is a good analogy. Reach is a, a master turtle cracker, I gotta say. And on that note, I think uh, this was a, a satisfying Reach uh, victory here. Uh, there haven't been that many recently, I believe. I yeah, I'm just going to hand call her on some tissue paper now. Like Right. No, no. I'm just saying uh, it's it's satisfying to see, and we'll be seeing. Uh, it's you know, all right, Colorado. Take your games. time. 
<laughs> I was going to talk about the next games we were going to do. But anyway, yes, we will be doing some more games possibly right now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. GG's.